two siblings, Becky and Cal, are seen in a car at the start of the movie. They were driving somewhere. Becky's condition becomes upset on the way. As a result, they must find a place to stay. At their side, there was a tall grass field. Becky hears a voice of a young boy from that tall grass. On the other side, they were also hearing the sound of someone else. Where that kid's mother was forbidding him for asking help, Becky and Cal were taking it so weird. Now they both move into that tall grass, parking their car in front of the church. So that they may help that kid. Cal moves far in this grass. Becky leaves behind while calling the police. In this way, they both had lost the way, moving into the grass. Supernatural incidents begin to occur with them, stepping into the grass. As they don't find each other when they were searching for each other. They were calling each other here. When they feel as the voice is coming from their nearest place, but they had a great distance from each other. When they used to feel, as they are calling each other at a great distance, then they used to have a little distance between each other. Now, Becky, gives an idea to, Cal, while speaking loudly. She suggests that we both jump at the same time. Due to this, we will be able to glimpse each other. Now they both do the same and they also glimpse each other while jumping. When they again jump then they remain unable to glimpse each other. It makes them scared. Now the night had fallen while searching for each other. Now, Becky, meets a man in this tall grass. Who was the father of the kids shown at the start of the movie? It is known here that kid's name is, Tobin, Becky, tells that man about herself. How that kid asked for help from them, and they both enter the field of grass. Now the night has fallen here, and they both siblings have still not found each other. Now that man named, Ross, says to, Becky, we should stay together. We may search for, Cal, while staying together. On the other side, Tobin, comes to Becky's brother. Tobin, was saying to, Cal, here, do you know? how it is easy to catch the dead things in the field of grass. Because grass does not penetrates the dead things, but Cal was not quite interested in his story. And he asks, ignoring his story, how did you come here? Now, Tobin reveals to him, our family had visited the church. Then they were listening a voice of a man from the field of grass who was calling for help. He tells that as they step into the grass, we did not get that man and we all three also separated from one another. Tobin, says to, Cal, with this, I know that your sister, Becky, will be died. Hearing it, Cal, had felt strange, because, Tobin, had not glimpsed, Becky, yet. Nor, Cal, had told him about her sister. Cal, asks him that, how do you know this? Then, Tobin, responds to him that, I have been told this by a rock. And this grass has revealed it to the rock, which knows everything. Whole story of, Tobin, was appearing useless to, Cal. So, Tobin, leads, Cal, to that rock. Before this, Cal, may touch that rock, he hears the voice of, Becky. And he begins to search for her again after being confused. Meanwhile, one more man is witnessed coming to this field of grass. He was the spouse of, Becky, named, Travis, who had reached here, searching for, Cal, and, Becky. First of all, he encounters, Tobin, here. Who says to him, I know you are here in search of, Becky. He also tells him that, Becky, is no more, and he also leads him to the dead body of, Becky. Travis, is grieved, seeing her dead, and he continues to lament her, holding her necklace. Travis, also begins to struggle to come out of this tall grass as the morning appears. But, Travis, was also finding trouble to come out of the field of the grass. Now, Travis, hears a sound of a kid beyond that tall grass. And he calls that kid for help. This kid was, Tobin, here. Now Tobin's whole family had stepped into the grass to save, Travis. But they don't find, Travis, here and they all are also separated from one another. Many days are passed here and the first scene of the movie is shown here. It means that, Becky, and, Cal, have stopped here, and, Tobin, is calling them for help. Whereas Tobin's mother is forbidding, Tobin, to call someone. The movie has complicated here. Let's explain it. Actually, this movie has been made on the time cycle of repetition and all the characters of this movie are entrapped in this time loop. This time cycle is running as, Tobin, had arrived on the call of, Travis. And, Cal, and, Becky, enter the field of grass on the call of, Tobin. Whereas, it has been witnessed, Travis, had come here while searching, Becky, and, Cal. It means that it is an enigmatic time cycle, which is continuing in the movie for a long time. Let's resume the movie from the same scene, where, Cal, and, Becky, have stepped into this field of tall grass. 
When they both were calling each other then their voices are also heard by, Travis, now. And he asks both of them, continue to speak, so that three of them meet, coming at a place. Now, Becky, and, Cal, ask, Travis, what are you doing here? Then, Travis, reveals to both of them, you have been missed for the last two months. And I have come here while searching both of you, and this fact was appearing to them so weird. Because they'd only been here two days, and, Becky, and, Cal, were feeling it for this reason. Because it was their second time cycle which is continuing in this movie. But this time cycle is riddle for everyone yet, even though the shown characters of this movie are also unaware. Now they all three were trying to quit from this place. At the same time, they also listen the voice of someone at their nearest place. He was, Tobin, Travis, makes him sit on his shoulder here. So he may guide them, watching the area out of the field of the tall grass. Tobin, tells them here about a building, and they start walking towards that building. At the same time, Becky, receives a voice message in her cell phone. Someone was speaking in the message, don't let Cal, to harm, Travis. And don't let them commit the same mistake time and again. This message seemed to three of them so mysterious. But they begin to move ahead, ignoring this message. Tall grass had started to engulf, Becky, in itself when they were nearly to come out of it. Consequently, Becky, loses her consciousness there. Cal, and, Travis, come to, Becky, immediately. In the meantime, Tobin's father also approaches here. Who tells, Becky, restoring her consciousness, I know the exit of this place. At the same time, Tobin, also tells his father that they have also glimpsed a building outside. And they are also moving into that building. As, Tobin, witnesses that building, sitting on the shoulder of his father, then he does not catch the sight of any building there. Seeing it, they all had agreed to come out along with, Ross. Ross, leads them to a rock instead of taking them outside. And he begins to tell the advantages of touching this rock. As, Cal, was nearly to touch that rock then Robin's mother approaches there. And she warns to touch that rock, she tells that, Ross, has hurt her here. And he has also seen, Becky, dead here. They don't agree with this lady because they were thinking, that she has become mentally upset because of being staying here for a long time. Meanwhile, when, Ross, had started to force them to touch that rock. Travis, also detects something wrong, and he begins to hit that man. But, Ross, is overcome on, Travis, during their dispute. Travis, still does not lose his courage and he asks others to escape from here. When all were leaving from there is being agreed with, Tarvis, then, Ross, crushes the head of Tobin's mother. Witnessing it, they all are panicked and run away together. But they all were not getting the exit here, then they see a dog. They reach a desolate store, coming on its way, it means that they had eventually come out of the field of tall grass. When, Travis, and, Cal, were fighting on an issue with each other in the store, then they listen the voice of, Ross, outside. Now they quickly move to the rooftop of the store. Now they were searching a way to come out of this tall grass. And they observe here that the exit is possible only walking through the field of tall grass. Then they also observe that a dog who had led them to this store. Now, this dog had reached across the grass, passing through the earth hole. Observing it, Travis, is slipped from here. Cal, saves him once. Then he leaves his hand again deliberately. As a result, Travis, is fallen down. Tobin, observes, Cal, doing this. Before this, Tobin, clears to him or says something, the voice of, Ross, is again heard by the mock and, Cal, goes downstairs, taking both of them, now, Tobin, had again stepped into that tall grass after going downstairs. Now, Cal, and, Becky, had also moved to the field of the tall grass. It is being observed here that, all these actions are being taken because of that unknown message. Which had been received by, Becky, Cal, had bruised, Travis, according to this message. And, Tobin, have again stepped into the field of grass while committing the same mistake. Cal, and, Becky, had also come into the field of tall grass. Now, Ross, catches, Cal, in the field of the grass. As, Cal, moves to the opposite side after being released himself from, Ross, Ross, had also come there to catch him there. And he was saying to, Cal, here, no matter in which direction of this grass field you move, I will surely catch you. After this, he strangles him to death. Now it is seen that there are many dead bodies of, Cal, in the field of the tall grass. It means that, Ross, have killed him for many times in the shown time loop of movie. Becky, witnesses the grass men when she was running as being afraid from there. Whose bodies were covered with the grass. And those grass men carry, Becky, to the same rock, lifting her, the rock where, Ross, had led them. 
Now, Becky, was going to deliver her baby near this rock, there is a hole. It is also seen that, Becky, had delivered her baby for many times. Now, Becky, calls on her number from her cell phone. So that, Becky, may not come here again in the next time cycle. It means that it had been called by, Becky, herself which she retrieved from unknown person. Becky, had lost her consciousness after calling it. She finds her brother, Cal, near her as she restores her senses. Who was holding the baby of Becky, she had lost her senses again, seeing it. She notices after restoring her senses as Cal, is making her eat something. Cal, tells, Becky, he is making her eat the grass. Actually, he was making her eat her baby. At the same time, that boy, Cal, is altered into, Ross, in fact, he was, Ross. Later, Tobin, and, Travis, are seen. In which, Tobin, was telling, Travis, my father will kill them again and again. Tobin, and, Travis, were at the beginning of the time loop. Where, Tobin, was telling him the things according to the time cycle. Now, Tobin, and, Travis, come to that rock. Where, Ross, begins to hit, Travis, violently. And he was also making his son to touch the rock while forcing him. But, Becky, kills, Ross, coming from backside. And, Travis, touches that rock here unwillingly. He had begun to feel so strange after touching the rock. Ross, was died here. And, Travis, had known all the secret ways of the grass after touching the rock. But a curse had fallen on him as he cannot go out of this grass. So he hands present Becky's necklace over to, Tobin, taking it off. And he says to him after telling him the direction of grass field to go outside, wait for, Cal, and, Becky, out of the field of the tall grass field. And reveal this whole story to, Becky, giving her this necklace. Don't let her come in the field. In the last scene of the movie, it is seen that, time loop was again going to start. It means, Cal, and, Becky, were nearly to come into the field of grass. Then, Tobin, glimpses them from the church. And he reveals the whole truth to them, now they both don't step into the field of the tall grass as being convinced by, Tobin, and, Travis, had met his end in the field of grass. This movie completes here, showing this scene.